Hello, I'm Gary Shrum. I work here at Heritage, and I'm the director of the music department. And we have... Ari Crane, and I'm the consignment director for Vinyl Records. And we're here to share a lot of new, exciting things happening here at Heritage today, and hope you enjoy it. And we're also promoting our new auction, which will be on the 4th and 5th of August, which has got some unbelievable things. Three catalogs, a catalog of posters, a catalog of vinyl, which we're going to talk a lot about mm -hmm. today. And we call it our A to the Z catalog, and it's with autographs and all kinds of different, uh, some vinyls, some pieces of clothing, just odds and ends to do with our rock stars that we love so much. And well, here we go. I'm going to let Ari lead off with something very special that's happening here at Heritage. Yeah, at, uh, at Heritage, I've been working very closely with the four companies that have just started encapsulating vinyl records. And uh, Gary and I are both very serious collectors. Um, we're audiophiles. We've both owned our own record stores before. And, you know, this debate is going to go on and on. But, um, you know, I, I believe and Gary knows that oh, absolutely. records are meant to be played. And, um, you know, between the four companies, they're only able to encapsulate 40 to 45,000 records right now. Um, you know, there's 160 million new records being pressed every year between over 100 pressing plants globally. And um, I believe in, you know, there's four that I've really been advocating, four types of records. That's sealed first pressings or sealed early pressings. You know, that's um, uh, acetates. Uh, that is the, the absolute, you know, uh, one of one or maybe two acetates may exist or a few from, from a certain record or a certain take. Uh, white label promos, test pressings, and uh, historical records with low press runs. And or maybe they're autographed or something like this, something special to you. This was the record you played at your wedding or this is a record that you first got into rock and roll with. It just no knocked you out. like. Jimi Hendrix's first album, or the first Beatles album, or Elvis's first album, or maybe it's you know the first Smiths album, or it's Ozzy's first album. It's special to you, and if you've got a near mint one, and it can be encapsulated and graded, this is going to give it a much higher value and cool to put on the wall and enjoy. Absolutely, you know, and and I have children, and I want the absolute best for my children, and I want to pass the best to my children, and you know uh, my my. Uh, grandchildren's grandchildren could be opening and playing some of these records and discover new music. So we're really preserving the best of, of yesterday and today's music, Gary, right. to pass to those future generations. So here at Heritage, we've seen what has happened with other markets, comic books, and um, you know, I just wanted to be... Well, posters. Posters, We started phenomenal. doing posters three years ago, and encapsulating posters has brought the value of the posters 10, 20, 50 times of what they were bringing before because of the capsulating and because they can be graded and sealed off and kept in that grade where vinyl can be too. And this is really, really important. We, you know, like you said, comic books, baseball cards, mm -hmm. collector's cards, uh, you, you've got video games, you've got VHS tapes now, and uh, records should have been going a long time ago as far as I think. I, I talked about this with several collectors probably 20 years ago way before i was working here and we were talking about encapsulating pitcher sleeves you get a pitcher sleeve in near mint condition it can get out of, out of that condition by just one handling somebody just not handling it right here you've got this thick box which you know about a little over a quarter of an inch thick it's going to protect the record and it's you know some other ideas that uh, they've come up with i'll let ari go on and tell about uh yeah, so we're, you know, whether you like this or not, like I said, um, you know, there's four companies currently in the market. And there's three more that are about to join. So that'll be seven companies that, you know, that I know about in six months. So it's here to stay. And, um, you know, why not own the very best of the best? As an audiophile, a collector, an investor, and somebody that's very passionate and serious about music, you know, there's, there's really, you know, we want to identify the best of the best. And that's something else that these encapsulation companies have done is they've identified the very top copies on the planet. And those, that's what we're able to offer are the very top sealed original copies. You know, as a, yeah. uh, where are you going to find another sealed original copy? Very hard to do. Yeah, just a sealed copy. Once you do find it and it's got really square corners and no wear on it and it just looks really nice, you take that next step and you get it encapsulated. Yeah. Now we have been 
showing this off at the last three or four shows that we've done. And we've got some people now, oh, I like to play my records. Well, we're talking about something we above <laughs> playing your records. You got a play copy, and here's your masterpiece yeah. that you found 20 years ago when you kept it sealed all these years. Or maybe you, when it came out, you bought two copies, one to play, and you just put one away. Now here's your next step, encapsulate it. Yeah, you know, a, a record from the 50s, 60s, 70s, or 80s that hasn't been opened. Honestly, once you open it, you're gonna lose 80% of the value. And I've had, oh. I've gone around in circles, you know, Velvet Underground and Nico sealed that we sold last auction. Uh, people tell me they're gonna open that. Come on, let's be real. You know, you're gonna open, you're gonna play and listen to an open copy. You're not gonna unseal an original 1967 copy and play. It's just not gonna happen. Same thing with this 1959. And you know, there's um, the four companies. Tuned In Grading is a company out of Dallas. We've been, um, uh, doing a lot of work with doing them. a lot of work with tuning grading. We absolutely love their their encapsulation, their case, and their label. Um, you have nice big numbers here, and you get the breakdown. If it's sealed, they're really only grading the the outside looks and uh, you know the, the condition of the shrink wrap. Uh, and there's there's a, a AAGS. AAGS is a company out of Funkstown, Maryland. This was the first company to introduce encapsulated vinyl records. And this is the first ever Ska Authentic. We like AAGS because they can preserve the sound. If the record's open, they can save the sound as an NFT. And hey, this may revitalize the NFT market, an NFT that you can actually listen to. And in this case, where the sound graded a nine, which is definitely better than the studio sound, then this could potentially, um, this could potentially be a very serious collectible and could generate income. Yeah, because when, when they uh, reissued the album, they didn't have the original tapes and they used other records. And so the quality isn't there, but on this original copy it is, and there it is on an NFT on the back. Mm -hmm. You can just scan it, listen to it. It's so cool and it's gonna be something else special to look out for. Absolutely, you can keep that in your uh, your, your wallet and you can, tr you can transfer that. Obviously you can't use it for commercial purposes unless the copyright has expired, then you'd have to go through that. But here's another example. This is uh, uh, AMG. This is DJ Steve Aoki's. Uh, he's a 50% stakeholder in this company. This is a Tupac, Tupac, Are You Still Down? It is a uh, tri-vinyl white label promo with the gold embossing on the back. So you actually have gold embossing on the back um, and that's gonna be offered in uh, 7308. And then for, you know, as we were talking about your special classic albums, can't get much more special and classic to Led Zeppelin's first awesome. album. Still sealed, still with Crazy Larry's price tag on the back of it. So how cool is that? That is super and that cool. that will be in the next <laughs> auction as well. That's just super to get this type of stuff never open and still with the original price tag on it. Look at that. You know, going to hundreds and hundreds of record shows, uh, you may never see this record or you may see it just once in once or twice. It is very hard to find sealed. Yeah, well, we've got three Led Zeppelins in this auction. We got In Through the Outdoor, which everybody remembers. It had all the different covers. You didn't get to see the cover that you're getting because it had a, a brown paper bag on it. But here you go, you've got one 8.5 condition. And that's, that's, that's pretty special. And then a 7.5 Coda. There's a 7.5 graded Coda, steel sealed with the original price tag on it. And again, talking about classic albums. <laughs> Who didn't open a Beatle album? Very rarely That's do you see. That's insane. And we, <laughs> we have sold steel sealed Beatle albums anywhere from, you know, 1,200, 1,500, up to three yeah. or 4,000 because they're still sealed, perfect corners, perfect shrink wrap. Well, here we take it to the next step. And if you've got a still sealed Beatle record, this is what you need to do. This is fantastic. Yeah, and there's this is tremendous just to just to find one that's never been opened. Um, like Gary said, impossible. Yeah. So this is this is a holy grail. Now, as, as I said at the beginning, this auction will be on the fourth and fifth, and hopefully in the next three four days it'll go live. We've just printed the catalog. Here's the catalog right here, hot off the press. And this is one of the three that's coming out. You can order these on our website. And I, it's just, just a piece of art itself with all the amazing stuff. As you can see, we have three different encapsulated records here on the front. And then some of the really 
rare 10 inch and 12 inch albums that come in the auction. And our website for this auction is ha.com forward slash 7308. So next I have a Smith's Louder Than Bombs promo. This is the original first promo pressing uh, with promo labels and the gold foil promo and the hype sticker graded a nine out of a 10 by two ding grading. And here's another real big collectible for years is the 3D Rolling Stones Satanic Majesty's Request and it's always been an album very hard to find in good shape but still sealed and encapsulated awesome. and graded in 8.5 it's just a masterpiece and a lot of people love to uh, look at this and look at the 3d because a lot of people don't realize the beetles are hidden in the flowers the beetles came in and did some work on this album but they don't get credit on the album because the record labels were different but Again, another just brilliant piece. I'm very excited to have something like this. This is the first sealed copy I've ever seen of this record, so yeah. that, that blew me away. And when We've I, had a few sealed ones through the years, but as wow. far as the corners go and how great condition, no. I have uh, Aerosmith Permanent Vacation. I have a, uh, an early pressing club edition, uh, graded in 9.0 on Geffen Records, and uh, steel sealed, never been opened. This is pretty fantastic. Here we have them again second them album with van morrison just stupendous album very hard to find and then to have one 9.0 never opened album wow is great having it encapsulated has knocked up the value probably 10 15 times and as these things come to market the prices will go up just like they did with comic books just like they did with posters just like they did with video games and collector's cards. This is the beginnings. This is the time to get in on it, get your special records. And maybe you have some special records that hey, you want to, you might want to sell. You think, well, I've invested in these for so long and I want to turn them over. You can contact RARI and we'll put them up for auction for you. You can contact me at ARIC at HA.com and um, Next, we have a uh, Eric Clapton Journeyman, sealed Journeyman, graded an eight by tuning grading. And again, never opened, never played. And most yeah. of these were opened and played. There's, oh, yeah. there's probably not this a, one. Yeah, probably not a lot of co uh, copies left of much of Clapton's work that hasn't been opened and played that are, are first pressing originals. So uh, like Gary said, now's the time to get in. Um, oh, yeah, Eric's <laughs> on tour right now. You know, That's we, awesome. We, the special Crossroads show coming up in Los Angeles, which will have something to do that we'll be an announcing even more as time goes on with a special Clapton auction. But look at what we got here. Yeah, Crosby, Steels, Nash and Young with the uh, original hype sticker, sealed original pressing. Um, you know, this is one of my absolute, one of the most beautiful albums, I believe, by Crosby, Steels, Nash and Young. And to find one that's sealed, graded in 8.5 is, well, all the greatest hits. People yeah. bought greatest hits to play. Yeah. And that it's still sealed is just amazing. Yeah. I don't care if it's Eagle's greatest hits or it's Journey's greatest hits or it's Rolling Stones. They got opened. Yeah. And, and like I said, this has all their best hits on it. So Wooden Ships, uh, te Teacher Children, um, also Our House. So some of those, some of those uh, big hits. So, yeah. And speaking of one of the most amazing albums in the 60s to come out, Jefferson Airplane's Surlistic Pillow. Wow. Just a masterpiece. And then, of course, it's got the original price tag on it from a great sale they were having back in the 60s. Who could believe they were selling them that cheap, but they were. Wow. Because I bought some. And uh, again, something else that we didn't mention with uh, getting things encapsulated is the hype stickers that come on some of the records. So important. Because generally, when people open the record, plastic came off that hype sticker disappeared having the original hype sticker from when they first released the album they're trying to promote a certain mm -hmm. one or two songs on it they'd make this sticker a couple of years later they weren't putting that sticker on it anymore yeah and also depending on the pressing plant so you know certain yeah. pressing plants would throw them on others wouldn't it just depend on how their how their supply chain if they had received them or you know who was on shift at that particular time so yeah uh, again finding them sealed is one thing and i just wrote an article I think that part of the chase with this is going to be finding those perfect promos, 
finding those perfect records with the all the original hype stickers. Um, those are those are going to be really hard to find in perfect shape or or near perfect shape, and uh, and still sealed. Well, here's the perfect one to show that hype wow. sticker. It's Beautiful. George Harrison's Dark Horse album has that big round sticker on it, and most people go, man, well, well, I don't remember that sticker. Well, you had an open record. It was yeah. on the plastic. It disappeared. Went in the circular file 10, 20, 30 years ago. But this is a good example. It's graded an 8.0, and again. Finding certain records in this kind of shape is so difficult. We both had record stores for years and we know how hard this is to find. And it would be, really we get a collection in, we go, wow, they never opened this record, how strange. It's very rare. So, I mean, out of a, you know, a thousand from a curated collection that you go through, maybe one or two might be sealed. So sometimes you might hit a pocket. Uh, it's very, very hard to do and rare anymore. But uh, this is super cool and not sealed. This is a graded 9.5 B-52's first record, and this is the test pressing of that record. So, uh, wow. Another perfect example why did you don't play your test pressings over and over. You can play a regular record, but you are so lucky to find a test pressing of it. And again, you, you've got it forever, you know, encapsulated there, and it's just cool. It doesn't have the, the great artwork like some people might think is important, but this is so important because only a handful of these were made per each record. Again, you know, I'm going to play an open copy to find a test pressing that's never been played that grades a 9.5. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, you know, and you have to think of the actual numbers, uh, the numbers, you know, sealed records, very, very few of those. There's even fewer test pressings. There's even fewer acetates. So this is among the rarest of cop versions of this record that you can find. and. Uh, unplayed 9.5 yeah and in in the catalog you're going to find test pressings you're going to find promos some things sealed some things open with high grades but a lot of things colored vinyl that's something we didn't talk about because they will encapsulate colored vinyl there's double gatefold ones that be uh you say you've got the uh yellow vinyl uh goodbye yellow brick road and you want to show off the vinyl and the cover you can have it in a gatefold encapsulation and here, the catalog, we have all kinds of great stuff. And this is part two of the Jim Copeland collection. And some of the things that we're gonna show you are some other things not in the Jim Copeland collection, but they're in the other third catalog, which is our A through Z. And like I said, and you've probably seen some of the other videos that uh, Pete Howard's made on the posters that we have coming up. We got dynamite posters. I just went through the catalog and I was, and I work with this every day and I'm blown away. So I can't wait for you to go onto the website and see all this unbelievable posters. Lots and lots of high grades. Just unbelievable. And uh, I'm Talk, excited. I am too. This, 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 this is, is this what we do. There's some very historic pieces that we're going to be bringing out here. Um, and this is, this is one of them, Wire 154, uh, you know, British punk, uh, post-punk, very instrumental in the post-punk movement. Uh, graded 9.5. Again, this is a, uh, a test pressing that has never been played. Yeah. and find another one. You won't. Yeah, the bass player used to come in our store in El Cajon. He would co come That's in awesome. and he had family that lived in San Diego, so he'd come out and uh, that was wow. probably about 10 years of him dropping in and out, being in different bands. Great stories. But it, it's all these things that uh, get uh, in our minds through our years of having shops and stuff. It's fun to share with everybody. What else you got there? Well, besides uh, vinyl records and this is uh, um, AMG, the company that uh, DJ Steve Aoki is partners in. They have started grading eight tracks. So I wanted to send in a couple eight tracks I thought were pretty historic. Um, one, we have uh, Nick Drake's Pink Moon, never opened, original seal with the sticker on it. And then we have the Velvet Underground and Nico. But this one is very interesting because it's uh, pre-lawsuit. And instead of the front cover, the banana, done by Andy Warhol, they put the back cover here with the unairbrushed torso. Yeah. You never see this. I've this. never seen one before. And I used to yeah. sell eight tracks when I opened my store in 76. Eight tracks and cassettes were normal. And both of these were in the eight track museum in Dallas. So these are both pieces that came out of that museum uh, and were featured in that museum. So oh, yeah. very interesting and, and just to, to see these and to, to be able to have and a piece of history, who, who didn't open this and play yeah, and one, one thing, well, a lot of people like, Nick Drake, who's Nick Drake? If you don't know Nick Drake, 
go on Spotify and just check it out. This guy was an incredible poet that just uh, had some really great music out. And we have more. We have three amazing records from Jim Copeland's Crush on Vinyl. Um, it's very rare and last auction we had offered three Blue Note, um, three original Blue Note test pressings. So this auction we have three more of the rarest Blue Note records that um, a, a bebop jazz or a jazz collector could hope to find. Uh, if, if you love Blue Note as much as I do, I, you know, we have Here Comes uh, Louis Smith. That is the first test pressing. And then we have Time Waits, the amazing Bud Powell. First test pressing. And then we have uh, Sonny's Crib by Sonny Clark, the original test pressing. So these are, I'm, I'm very excited to, to offer these in, in, uh, at ha.com forward slash 7308. And should have brought this up when we had the uh, eight track, but here it is still. Velvet Underground and Nico. And what we have here is a mono promo. And I had never seen a yellow label like this DJ copy. Oops. Yeah, so you have the uh, the first um, pre-lawsuit yeah. uh, cover with the unairbrushed torso and a yellow label promo. Um, last auction, we offered a sealed first pressing. And this auction, um, just as important as the promo copy very scarce to find a first pressing and to find one in this condition is oh, tremendous. Oh yeah, well, it's, it's from Jim Copeland's collection. Jim Copeland bought the best records he could find on the planet and he bought, you know, if he could find a promo or a mono copy that he didn't have already, he bought it. And here's a just stunning, stunning piece that will be in the auction as well. Fantastic. Really happy to share that with you. And if you're a fan of the Beastie Boys like I am, uh, we have two autograph records. There we go. That are uh, offered in 7308. And uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. You know, over the years, I've sold lots and lots of autographs. I just, for some reason, never had come across Beastie Boy autographs. And they were approachable, but nobody wants to get rid of them. So you've got a chance now here to own one or two. Depends on how much you love either album, I guess. Yeah, there's uh, two two different albums and uh, just beautiful autographs. So we're uh, we're excited to excited to offer those for seven three zero eight. Something else in the auction that's coming up. Here's a really beautiful condition reissue of the Freewheeling Bob Dylan, and Bob has signed it right here. Obviously, a recent autograph, and it comes with a special LOA and. This is, the, if you're going to have a, one of his albums signed, one of the better ones, I would say this, or for me, if I had a signed uh, Highway 61, my favorite Bob album. Yeah. But that's, that's just another dynamite piece, but we have this coming up. This yeah, th we have one of the rarest British jazz albums that you can hope to find, a first UK pressing of Shades of Blue with uh, Don Rendell and Ian Carr Quintet, uh, absolutely gorgeous copy. And uh, again, very difficult to find in the U.S. or to even find a clean copy, but um, excited to have this also. Here is a one of a kind. Never seen anybody do this before. Everybody's seen the butcher cover in different forms or another. Half done, tears through it, perfect copies. First edition, second edition, third editions. Here we have one that I've never seen where somebody took the time to figure out where the heads were and just peeled that part so it would show through. Took a long time, very clever. The gentleman that lives here and been a good friend of ours for a while. And uh, he decided that it was time to let this go and uh, never seen another one. May give people incentive to do it again, but this is the <laughs> first one I know about. And I've talked to several different people, that, you know, experts in the field. They'd never seen it done before. so. What would you call kind? this? Yeah, somewhere between a second and third state. <laughs> yeah. Half butchered? I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> but wow, isn't that cool? That is super cool. Again, all this stuff is coming up in our August 4th and 5th auction. And like I said, the catalogs have just come out. You can 
get on and order them at ha.com and coming up right now we have another really really special item this is a really nice Beatles autograph and it comes with all the stuff that you want an LOA from Frank Cayazzo which is the guy for authenticating autographs and the other people that for authenticating autographs Tracks Unlimited over in the UK very good friends nice. of ours and they've got one Ooh, there we go and that comes with this great promotional photo that was made look at that isn't that great and somebody flipped it over when the boys were there and said lads can you do an autograph on the back and it's been encapsulated and preserved so it can't get any more damage or messed with when people handle it so it's That's easier awesome. to handle but really really a great piece and what doesn't usually happen somebody that owned it at the time wrote the letter and the history of how it happened so there you've got that and this is a stupendous piece and this is also in the same auction let's put the gloves on getting ready to handle an acetate but uh, in the meantime i'm glad to share with you this uh, nina simone at town hall uh, on Colpix, graded an 8.5 by tuned in grading and i've got something here that i'm just going to hand over to our this is a special here. piece of history um, i think that this is very spectacular when i found this and discovered what it was this is a uh, 1956 Capitol Records 45 RPM acetate. It's the earliest Capitol Records 45 RPM acetate I've ever seen. And it just happens to be uh, Gene Vincent and his blue caps with uh, Woman Love and V. Babalula. Yeah. So I've never seen an earlier uh, Capitol Records 45 RPM acetate. And um, it's just absolutely beautiful. I've compared this with other 45 print type and other Capitol Records acetates, exact same typewriter, exact same font type. Um, everything looks right from the 45, and it, it's just wow. Just wow. And here we have something really, really cool. This is through Topps Baseball Card, special limited edition autograph that uh, came from the king, Elvis Presley. Look at that. That is just dynamite. That's awesome. And I haven't seen one before, and the uh, our card experts are just really quite excited about this, that it came in. And it's uh, one of those things that show up once in a lifetime. You don't, don't see things like this graded and uh, you know, very and highly. It, and again, there you can see the backing on there, the provenance that this piece has as well. Again, it will be in the auction. You can go online right now at ha.com and view it. And that is a one of one. It says on the front, one of one yeah. from that series. So, stupendous. Wow. Just fantastic. Well, thank you for joining us. And uh, yeah, we're very you know excited as always about working with all this rock and roll stuff that we get in and we want to share it with everybody every chance we can. So you can always go on our website and go into our archives and see stuff that we've had. You can even make offers on that stuff and that you know somebody has purchased maybe 10 years ago and you say, you know, I'd like to own that. And you can uh, email us and put an offer in and it might be yours. Or you can go into our current auction, which is just always exciting. We, like I said, three catalogs. So we'll have three catalogs in two days. That'll be a Friday and a Saturday and it will knock your socks off. It, it's just some great stuff. And we're currently taking in stuff for our November auction. So if you're, you're sitting on some stuff and been thinking about what should I do with this? Or I've got two copies of this. I should get rid of this one. That can free up some money for this auction mm -hmm. or it can free up some money for whatever you want to do with it. But we're looking for new stuff, whether it's autographed items or it's the guitars or it's possibly a vintage Beatle album or it could be something to do with uh, rockabilly, or it could be something to do with blues, or it could be something to do with punk, or new wave, or ska. We're the people to contact. 
Well, hey, if you've made it this long to the video, thank you for lasting. And uh, I'll also say that, uh, like Gary said, if you have, uh, we're looking for new consignments. If you have sealed records, very historic rare, rare records, we're working with the, the four companies right now. Uh, we're trying to be the very tip of the spear, working with those companies. And each company, I believe, has their own uh, benefits. You know, we're working with uh, VMG also uh, out of uh, Rhode Island, and they're the first company to introduce uh, an actual um, uh, spine, you know, so you can actually uh, have a gatefold and show off your show off your your cover on one side and the disc on the other. Um, so uh, we're thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll see you at uh, ha.com forward slash seven three zero eight. I'm Ari Crane. And yeah, I'm Gary Shrum, and we could be your phone bidders when you're uh, bidding on those last two days of the catalogs. Uh, auction. Good luck bidding and uh, we'll see you at the next auction. Thanks. Bye-bye. We'll see you.